Okay, friends. So, in last lecture, we have started with super mesh. I have given you the introduction of super mesh. When super mesh is formed, so I'll stop video. So, when super mesh is formed. whenever the particular mesh is having a current source but the current source is common between two meshes okay so that is our type 4 in type 2 also type 2 problem current source is present in type 1 problem only voltage source and resistances are present in type 2 along with voltage source and resistance current source is present but in type 2 the current sources are at the outer part of the loop or outer part of the mesh that means it is not common between any two meshes in type 3 we have seen all the uh, dependent current source or voltage sources are also included in the circuit in the mesh okay and the fourth type is this whenever current source is present but it is not at the outer loop but it is common between the two meshes so this forms a super mesh so for such super mesh how to deal with uh, super meshes so we have to solve one will get a current equation from this that is i2 minus i1 will be the direction of this current so i2 minus i1 will become 6 ampere will be one equation for this so from current equation we can write one equation and for another equation we'll get it from the kvl of super mesh so you exclude this portion current source you exclude and excluding this current source whatever remaining part is there that is the external part or outer side of the super mesh so for this outer side of super mesh you have to apply kvl and while applying kvl you have to take care that the mesh currents whatever we have assumed i1 and i2 they will be kept as it is so for this 6 ohm this i1 will operate for this 10 and 4 ohms this i2 will operate in this fashion okay and the current equations and voltage equation are i2 minus i1 is equal to 6 is the current equation and after applying kvl for this super mesh we'll get 20 Minus six i one minus ten i two minus four i one i four i two that will be equal to zero will be the equation of this KVL. So now there are two equations, two unknowns. You can solve them simultaneously to get the particular result. So now we'll start a numerical on this. So. super mesh analysis numerical it is a uh, numerical number what is that 2.47 so 2.47 from the travishing book find the current through 10 ohm resistor in the network shown so we want to find current through this 10 ohm resistance so as we can find there are three meshes mesh 1 mesh 2 and mesh 3 now there is a current source and which is common between mesh 2 and 3 so this is an example of super mesh so we have one equation 
so the procedure is same again first find out how many meshes are there for every mesh will assume clockwise current as a positive current so we have assumed i1 i2 and i3 these are the three currents flowing in three meshes now for mesh 1 there is no problem you can apply directly kvl for this and you can get the equation for this loop or mesh for mesh 2 and 3 since a current source is common between these two it forms a super mesh so one equation we can get it from this loop which is the current loop you can say so from this we can write one equation that is i3 minus i2 is equal to 4 and for the remaining part of super mesh that is the outer loop of super mesh which i have highlighted with this red circle so you can apply kvl for this mesh and you will get the third equation so you have got one equation from mesh 1 one, one equation from this current equation current loop and third equation from this super mesh so three equations three unknowns you can solve them to find i1 i2 and i3 so applying kvl to mesh 1 this is 2 volt current is flowing from minus to plus of this battery so 2 will be positive so plus 2 minus 1 into i1 and minus 10 into i1 minus i2 since two currents are flowing in this 10 ohm resistance i1 and i2 and they are in opposite direction so we'll take it as i1 minus i2 or i2 minus i1 but here we are dealing with the first mesh so the dominating current is i1 so for this mesh equation the current flowing through this 10 ohm resistance will be i1 minus i2 so 10 minus 10 into i1 minus i2 equal to 0 will be the kvl equation for this particular mesh now simplify that means club all the terms of i1 together club all the terms of i2 together and constant terms on another side so it will be 11 i1 minus 10 i2 equal to 2 let us say this is equation number 1 now second equation you will get it from this blue circle that is the current loop so that is the direction of current 4 ampere is upward which is in the direction of i3 so the current flowing through this current source will be i3 minus i2 so i3 minus i2 is the current flowing through this So I three minus I two will be equal to four. This is second equation, and third equation you can get it from applying KVL to the super mesh. So you can start with any point. You can start from this ten ohm. So minus ten into I two minus I one is the current flowing through this ten ohm because we are writing equation for. second loop so dominant current is i2 so i2 minus i1 is the current flowing through this 10 ohm resistance so the first term will be minus 10 into i2 minus i1 now through this 5 ohm resistance minus 5 into i2 then for this 15 ohm it is minus 15 into i3 equal to 0 so this is the third equation again simplify it club all the terms of i1 together club all the terms of i2 together club all the terms of i3 together and constants on another side so we'll get 10 i1 minus 15 i2 minus 15 i3 equal to 0 let us say this is equation number 3 so you can solve now equation 1 2 and 3 to get the values of i1 i2 and i3 So I one is coming as minus two point three five, 
I2 is coming as minus 2.78 and I3 is coming as 1.22 ampere. Now in our question, it is asked to find current through 10 ohm resistance. So this is 10 ohm resistance. So through 10 ohm resistance, two currents are flowing, I1 and I2, exactly in opposite direction. So the net current flowing through this 10 ohm resistance is I1 minus I2. As I1 value is higher, I2 is lower. I have taken it as I1 minus I2 and it is coming out as 0 0.43 ampere. That is 430 milliamperes. Now let us simulate the same circuit. So I have simulated this. I have given this link for you. So you short link. So you can put this HTTP colon double slash pin URL dot com and this number. So if you will put this in your browser, you will get this same circuit which I have already implemented. Now the same circuit I have implemented, 2 volt, 1 ohm resistance, 2 volt, 1 ohm resistance, 5 ohm resistance, 10 ohm resistance, 4 ampere current source and 15 ohm resistance. And I want to measure 3 currents, I1, I2 and I3. I have put here 1 ammeter, here another ammeter and here third ammeter. So these 3 ammeters will measure the currents I1, I2 and I3. And ultimately, we want to find current through 10 ohm resistor. So that 10 ohm resistor is here. So I have connected one more emitter in this series with this 10 ohm resistor. And this will give me directly the reading of current flowing through this 10 ohm. And the simulated results are exactly matching with the calculated results. I1 is minus 2.35. So here I am getting minus 2.348. Then I2 is minus 2.78. I am getting exactly minus 2.78. I3 is 1.22. I am getting 1.217. So this is 220. And I have calculated the current flowing through 10 ohm resistor as 0.43. And I am getting as 434.7 milliampere. That is 0.434 ampere. So, understood this? Then we'll move to second example of super mesh analysis. Example number 2.48. Find the current in 3 ohm resistor of this network. So, these are the three meshes, mesh 1, mesh 2 and mesh 3. We can find that a current is common, current source is common between this mesh 1 and 3. So as the current source is common between these two meshes, it is a problem of super mesh. So for this super mesh, we can write three equations, three unknowns are there. One, you can get it from this current loop. Another, you can get it from this super mesh. And third equation, you can get it from this particular mesh, which is not common between these two current sources. Uh, between these two meshes, the current source is common. So these two forms a super mesh, and this is the remaining one. So for this, you can apply KVL independently. Okay. So, First, you can write current equation in this, current is flowing in this direction, I1 and 7 ampere are in the same direction. So the current flowing through this is I1 minus I3 equal to 7. So I1 minus I3 equal to 7, I'll write it as equation number 1. Then I'll apply KVL to this super mesh. So this plus 7 as current is flowing from minus to plus of this battery. So this 7 will be positive. So plus 7. Then through this 1 ohm, current flowing is I1 minus I2. So minus 1 into I1 minus I2. Then this 3 ohm, I3 minus I2. So minus 3 into I3 minus I2. 
and minus one into I three equal to zero. This is the KVL equation after applying KVL to this super mesh. Okay. Now simplify this equation. Club all the terms of I one together. Club all the terms of I two together. Club all the terms of I three together. And constants on other side. So I'll get minus I one plus four I two minus four I three equal to minus seven. Let us say this is equation number two. And third equation you can get it by applying KVL to this particular loop or mesh. That is one ohm, this two ohm, and this three ohm. So this three resistances and current flowing is I two. So for in one ohm resistance, current flowing is I two minus I one. So minus one into I two minus I one, minus two into I two, and minus three into I two minus I three equal to zero. This is the KVL equation for this particular loop again simplify it club all the terms of i1 together i2 together i3 together and constants on another side so you will get the equation as i1 minus 6 i2 plus 3 i3 equal to 0 let us say this is equation number 3 now you can solve these three equations 1 2 and 3 with the with the help of calculator the procedure which i have already explained you while solving the first numerical so using that procedure you can solve these equations and you'll get the value of i1 as 9 ampere i2 as 2.5 ampere and i3 as 2 ampere and in the question it is asked to find the current through 3 ohm resistor so 3 ohm resistor is this current flowing through 3 ohm resistor is i2 and i3 exactly in opposite direction so which current is greater i2 is greater it is 2.5 and i3 is 2 ampere so i'll take it as i3 my uh, sorry i2 minus i3 will be the net current flowing through this 3 ohm resistor and it is coming as i2 minus i3 2.5 minus 2 that is equal to 0.5 ampere now the same circuit uh, simulated in the same software whose short link i have given it to you for your reference you can type this in your um, box internet so that you will get this circuit on your screen i have implemented the same circuit 7 volt battery 1 ohm resistor 3 ohm resistor 2 ohm resistor 1 ohm resistor 7 ampere current source along with a 2 ohm resistor forming 